Well, what does it mean to actually read the surf? What does that mean? I, I guess just, you know, in the sense that how it moves as far as its energy and what mm -hmm. it's always doing, yep. you know, you get rips and currents and, and the energy of the wave, depending on the size and how it breaks, you know, mm -hmm. there's dumpers and it barrels and it throws and then, you know, which ways it's sweeping left to the right. I actually ran through all of this this morning. I ran a clinic this morning for mm -hmm. kids from nine to 14 for two and a half hours, which was really cool because here at the moment on the Gold Coast in Queensland, it's blowing southeast at about 20, 25 knots. And uh, we've got a southeast swell at about two to three metres. And, and so the sweep on the beaches here on the Gold Coast are ripping north. And yeah. so with the older kids, I got them in the water. And before I got them in the water, I just told them how everything works, you know, all the energy on top of the water. And I said, effectively, you're like a pilot at the end of the day. And so if you're a pilot and you want to get, you know, from, from the ground through the clouds uh, into clear air above it, you know, what do you got to do? You got to pick the light spots to be able to get through those clouds. Um, you don't want to pick those dark spots if you're a pilot. So it's the same concept to some degree of one component with the surf is that when you go under and you want to come back up, you know, you've got all these bubbles that are breaking, in, uh, you know, on top of you and uh, it's all exploding and uh, it's really cool how much energy there is in there in, in a wave uh, when it breaks. Mm -hmm. And so it's just trying to pick the right spots to come up, get your breath and then go back down. And then there's a component of clear water generally on your way out is that all this turbulence on top uh, moves through and wants to get to the shore as fast as possible with the wave and then it's got to disperse. And so where's it go? You know, when it runs up the beach and runs back down, where does all that energy go? And um, so it's just trying to teach him that, you know, on the bottom, it's generally the safest place to be. If, you know, all my surf races and Ironman races, if I could have jumped in the water and uh, held my breath for a few minutes and stayed under, you know, three, four, five, six waves, I would have and sat on the bottom and dumped butterfly kick all the way back out the <laughs> back. Um, you know, that would have been ideal, but unfortunately my lungs weren't that big. No one's are to be able to hold the breath for that long. So, um, you know, during a race, uh, you have this sort of buffer area on the, on the bottom of the ocean. Um, you have this clear water and then it comes to the, the, the bubbling section of a wave. And so once all that waves come in, it's ran up the beach, comes back out. It generally wants to push back out the sea, depending on the current that's running and then the different sections of the bank and the gutter and so forth. Um, it usually runs back out along the bottom and, and then disperses back out to sea. So um, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it's, it's really cool. I, I just, it's one of those things that I really enjoy and I, I like being able to talk to the kids about it and, uh, and try and express it in a way that they understand. And then generally we'll go out and, uh, and we'll do a bit of a demonstration. And, and today I've got them in the rip today. <laughs> and uh, I ran them about a kilometre south and then we got back into the rip. <clears throat> I just showed them just how fast you actually can move with the sweep and, uh, and what the ocean can do. So, you know, you need a real appreciation of, of what, mother can produce, what mother nature can produce and, uh, and a respect for it too because, you know, if she wants, she can take it as quick as, it, uh, as it's there.